Hi, I'm Jenny from Refresh Living, and I have one of these super annoying attached soap dispensers. They're convenient, but I never fill it up because the bottle is super small. It seems to hold soap for only about a week, and then I have to recrawl under there every time to fill it up and twist it back on, and it is just a pain in the butt. Um, so if you have one of these and yours is empty as well because you're super annoyed by it, I have a solution. Um, I have a way to attach a much bigger bottle to it, and it, you don't even have to screw it in. Check out how easy this is um, with only one supply from the hardware store. I'm in the hardware store, Menards to be exact, and I'm in the plumbing section where they have all these different types of plastic tubing. So I brought my pump with me and found the one that fit perfectly. I'm gonna go attach it. To attach it all together, I just crawled under the cabinet and fed the tube up through the hole where the soap dispenser usually goes. Once it was through, I could attach the soap dispenser to the tube and then I cut it to be a good length to fit inside the bottle. Of course, the bigger the bottle, the longer it's going to last, but either way, with a new bottle, you just slide it back and put the tube in, so it's super easy. It took about eight to 10 pumps to get the soap um, flowing through the tube, but then once it did, it was all set to go. This is going to make changing out that soap so much easier, and I am feeling very accomplished right now. <laughs> this kitchen is at our cottage, and it started with old 1970s laminate cabinets. The doors were basically laminate filled with cardboard on the inside. So rather than replacing the whole, all the cabinets, I kept the boxes and instead just refaced the front. So I bought new wood doors and then obviously painted them. And it made the cabinets look new at a fraction of the cost. If you'd like more details on this project, you can head to my blog, refreshliving.net. I'll drop a link in the comments below to the direct posts on how I upgraded this kitchen on a major budget. Thanks for watching.